we have not been called for the wide road we have been called for the narrow way we are supposed to live the narrow way and turn to those that are on the wide road and pull them from the narrow from the wide road and bring them onto the narrow way we snatch them from the fire and bring them into light we snatch them from darkness and bring them into life on the narrow way give us Romans 7 15 hallelujah Amen. Paul says I do not understand what I do for what I want to do I do not do but what I hate I do Paul anasema maana sijui nifanyalo kwa sababu lile nilipendalo silitendi bali lile nilichukialo ndilo ninalo litenda and if I do what I do if I do what I do not want to do I agree that the law is good lakini kama nikilitenda lile ni silo litenda na ikiri ile sheria ya kwa ni njema as it is it is no longer i myself who do it but it is sin living in me basi sasa si mimi nafsi yangu ninayatenda hilo bali ni ile dhambi kaayo ndani yangu i know that nothing good lives in me that is in my sinful nature for i have the desire to do what is good but i cannot carry it out kwa maana najua ya kuwa ndani yangu yani ndani ya mwili wangu halikai neno jema kwa kuwa kutaka nataka bali kutenda lililo jema sipati for what i do is not the good i want to do no the evil i do the evil i do not want to do this i keep on doing kwa maana lile jema nilipendalo silitendi bali lile bani silopenda ndilo ninalolitenda now if i do what i do not want to do it is no longer i who do it but it is sin living in me that does it basi kama lile nisilolipenda ndilo ninalolitenda nilitendalo si mimi nafsi yangu nilitendaye bali ni ile dhambi ikayo ndani yangu amen amen so there is a, a very serious contention here kwa hivyo kuna utata mkali hapa that we run through paul kwamba tunaona kwa paulo there is a wide road kuna njia hapa there is a narrow way kuna njia nyamba there is a contention here kuna utata hapa paul is being torn apart paulo anavuta the wide the wide road is pulling him njia hapa inamvuta the narrow way is also pulling him njia nyamba hapa pia inamvuta and he says what i desire to do na nasema anachotamani i find myself not doing it na kwamba silitendi because there is a law of sin that is operating in me kwa sababu kuna sheria dhambi because i am flesh and blood kwa sababu mimi ni damu na nyama you and me are flesh and blood wewe na mimi ni damu na nyama and the wide road is looking for us njia hapa ina tutafuta the narrow way is also looking for us but this is a choice lakini hii ni chaguo you have to choose unafaa kuchagua may you are torn apart Ume, una, una but what will help you and me to choose ya kwamba nini kitakusaidia mimi kuchagua the chagua. end of the ways tunaangalia hatima ya hizo njia look at the end of the ways tunaangalia hatima hizo njia we conclude our choice by look at the end of the narrow way tunafanya, and the end of the wide way tunafanya uamuzi kwa kuangalia mwisho wa njia nyambamba na mwisho wa njia when we look at the end of the narrow way tukiangalia mwisho wa njia nyambamba we see life tunaona Uzima. when we look at the end of the, the white road we see destruction tunaona uharibifu so we make a wise choice we say okay there is battles on this narrow way kuna vita kwa nyanja ya nyambamba but better the end of the thing than its beginning lakini heri mwisho wa jambo kuliko mwisho the end of the narrow way is life mwisho wa nyanja ya nyambamba ni uzima so we choose the narrow way because the narrow way is giving us life kwa sababu nyanja ya nyambamba inatupa uzima so we purpose today kwa hivyo tunakusudia leo to sacrifice kujitolea and to deny ourselves na kujinyima the pleasures of this world raha za ulimwengu huu the appetites of this world haja za ulimwengu huu the plans of this world mipango za ulimwengu huu and we choose the narrow way tunachagua nyanja ya nyambamba we, nyanyamba. we nyanyamba. can deny for ourselves tunaje for this time kwa wakati huu we can deny ourselves tunaweza jinyima but we are preparing lakini tunaanda to enter kuingia life uzima at the end of the day mwisho wa hallelujah so you and me kwa hivyo wewe na mimi we must choose the narrow way lazima tuchague njia nyamba if we have to finish well iwapo tutamaliza as a church as a people kama kanisa kama watu as a nation kama taifa we have to choose the narrow way tunahitaji kuchagua njia nyamba we have to lay aside everything lazima tuweke kando kila kitu we have to focus na tutazama on what is ahead of us kulenga kila mtu kwa bele this life na huo ni uzima the purpose of the church makusudia kanisa is to give life ni kupeana uzima to people what is to give life to believers the purpose of the world is to give them death hallelujah amen 
Because there is one who reigns in the world. Kwa sababu kuna yule ambaye anatawala ulimwenguni. There is one who owns the world. Kuna yule ambaye ni mwenye ulimwengu. But we have the king in the kingdom. Lakini tuko na mfalme katika ulimwengu. We are in this world. Tuko katika ulimwengu. Yes, but we are not of this world. Lakini sisi sio wa ulimwengu. We have a kingdom in this world. Tuna ufalme katika ulimwengu. And the kingdom is led by the Lord Jesus Christ. Na mfalme unaongozwa na Mungu. The king of all kings. Mfalme wa mfalme. And the Lord of all lords. Na bwana wa mabwana. So we are following him. Baba tumfuata. And he is leading us to life. Anatuongoza kwa uzima. The, uh, the disciples who are following him they did not care they knew they saw that this man will lead us to destiny we shall not question we shall not ask we shall not look back we shall pursue him the church must pursue Jesus he must go ahead and we must follow when he speaks we do what he speaks when he moves we also move when he stops we stop when he rests we rest When he gets to work we also get back to work we follow every footstep we follow whatever he does we watch him very keenly we see how he moves we see how he acts we see how he behaves we see how he speaks we emulate the same follow me as I follow Jesus that is, John, that is Paul that is the doctrine that must lead us at such a time as this that must must be our formula follow me as i follow jesus so we follow jesus christ he goes we go with him he comes we come with him he stands we stand with him he is our order of the day jesus christ must be the order of the day jesus christ must be the order of the day in our family it must be jesus in our business it must be jesus at our workplace it must be jesus in this nation it must be jesus in the church of god it must be all about Jesus Christ. Nothing else matters. Nothing else matters. It is unprofitable. It is unprofitable. If we shall gain the whole world and then lose our own souls. You see that formula? Which means this life is a, this is a business. Yes, we are doing business. The business of our souls. And we are targeting our destiny. Are we a profit or a loss at the end? Our life must be a profit at the end. If we enter destruction, God looks at, God looks at this at a loss. Because we have gone to the side of the adversary. But we must be a prophet to God. We must be a prophet to the kingdom of God. We must be a prophet to the plans and purposes of God. We have to be a prophet to God. After all, we have benefited a lot from the Lord. We have benefited a lot from His grace. We have benefited a lot from His mercy. We have benefited a lot from the blood of Jesus. We have benefited a lot from the cross. When things are not making way, we run to the cross. Each and every day we are benefiting. Reading from the Lord. Sucking from his, from his armory. Sucking from his warehouse. Each and every day he loads us with benefits. Now you have to be a prophet also to God. By being there as a vessel, as an instrument to fulfill his desires and plans that in our time it shall not be said that the kingdom of God suffered deficiency when you and me are here today we make a choice that the kingdom of God shall benefit and the kingdom of darkness shall lose that's the way of the narrow way hallelujah amen We shall continue to fight to stay on the narrow way. Don't look at the mountains. The narrow way is full of them. Don't look at the bumpy way. That is the narrow way. Don't look at the discouragement. The battles and the arrows that arise. No. Look at the end of the saying. And you have Jesus Christ again. Holding your hands on this way. We shall make it at the end of the day. Because we have the Lord together with us. And we have his spirit guiding us and helping us on this narrow way. Things may not be well. We are going through challenges. We are battling things in life. But we have the Lord 
on the narrow way. Lakini tunayo Bwana kwenye njia nyembamba. Haleluya. Amen. I just want to encourage someone. Nataka tu kuhimiza mtu. That yes it is not easy. Kwamba ni kweli sio rahisi. But yes 2020 has not been easy. Kweli mwaka 2020 for us is a narrow way. Mwaka huu umekuwa njia nyembamba. And it is a real one. Na ni halisi kabisa. But we thank God because he is there. Lakini tunashukuru Mungu kwa sababu yake. We thank God because his spirit is there. Mungu kwa sababu yake. And somehow we shall break through. Na kwanja flani tutapenda. And somehow we are making it. Na kwanja flani tutapenda. And somehow we are coming out. Kwanja flani tunatoka. We shall come out lighter. Tutatoka We shall, we shall come out brighter. We shall come out stronger. We, can, we, can, we shall come out more energized. It doesn't matter the scars. The scars may be there. The scars will remind us that we are on the narrow way and we come out successful. We come out victorious. We come out carrying the flag. We come out strong. It was heavy, it was tough. It was darkness, it was bitter. It was fatiguing in us, it was eating. Us up. But we look back and we see that we came over. We see that we overcame. We see that we, we broke through. Because the Lord is together with us. He will hold our hands. He keeps encouraging us. He looks back. We are following him. He says, keep it up. 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 I give you the pace. I continue to set the pace. You will keep up with my pace. I will not rush you. I will not I will harass you on this way. I will help you. I will hold your hand. I will walk together with you. I will see the tears coming down. I will wipe the tears. I will see you sweating. I will wipe your, tears, your sweat. I will see you losing strength. I will strengthen you again. I will see you losing hope. I will encourage you. I will be together with you. I will not leave you to fall. And whenever you fall, I will pick you up again. And I will continue to walk with you. I will not abandon you. That is not my nature. My nature is to look back and pick you up again and hold you and walk together with you. My nature is to hold your hand. I will climb the mountains together with you. I will ascend and descend the mountains together with you. I will help you skip over. I will help you overcome. I will heal that sickness. I will heal that disease. I will help you break through in that business. I will not leave you in that shame and disgrace. I will help you out. You have waited for long. But times and seasons belong to me. I will help you out. Keep waiting. Keep waiting. I am Jehovah will help you. I am the creator of the heavens and the earth. You are wise to keep waiting. When the season it has hand, I will notify you. I will send you a signal. When the times is at hand, I will help you. I will not forget you. I never forget my people. I know the numbers of your heads. I have written on the palms of my hands. I do not forget. I have a memory. I have a memory that never forgets. So keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. Walk together with me. Abraham waited. And the years were going. The promise had come. You will have a son. And through him, there shall come a Messiah. He shall be a father to nations. He will see a father. He will be a father to kings. He will rule over thrones. But Abraham continued to wait. It was not easy. He was playing the narrow way. And sometimes he could get the discouraged. Sarah got discouraged. And he said, this thing is eating me up. This thing is not easy. This thing is difficult for me. But Abraham is there. He says, the Lord says, he will come and we shall receive a son. Mama, continue to wait. Mama, keep it up. It is not easy. We are losing strength. Our bones are weakening. But Mama, keep it up. Mama, Mama, the Lord is in this narrow way. Mama, Mama, the Lord is with us. Mama, Isaac will come. Isaac, Isaac will come. Isaac will come. You have said it is 20 years. Yes, it is 20 years. But Isaac will come. It is 23 years. Yes, Mama, I know. It is 23 years. But Isaac will come. You have said it is 24 years 
Let us keep waiting. Isaac will still Isaac come. Because the Lord spoke. And it must come to pass. That one will not return to him. It will first accomplish the assignment. The assignment is that Isaac will come. It is now 25 years. The sign is here. The sign has come. The woman has is now pregnant. An old woman. In the village. Is carrying a son. And people are wondering. People are shocked. People are confused. Because an old woman. Is carrying a child. It is not just a child. It is a son. They have walked the narrow way. They have seen the end. And the end is Isaac. Isaac has come. The promise has come. How long have we waited? It doesn't matter the years. It doesn't matter the time. Yes, I know it is tough. I know it is hard. But Isaac will come. Wait, keep it up. Wait on that narrow way. Don't veer off to the wide way. Isaac will find you on the narrow way. Because the Lord is there. The Isaac of your business. He will come. The Isaac of your ministry. He will come. The Isaac of your calling. He will come. The Isaac of your marriage. He will come. The Isaac of your engagement. He will come. The Isaac of your life. He will come. It is the narrow way. Isaacs are found on the narrow way. Ishmael is found on the way. So wait on the narrow way. That you may get an Isaac. And move with him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Characteristics of the men of the narrow way. Number one. The men of the narrow way. They seek to please God. They do not please themselves. They have laid down their lives. For the sake of the will of the Lord. They do not look at themselves. They have died to appetite. They have died. They have died to self. All that lives in them is Jehovah. All that they think about is the Lord. Each and every day they are meditating on the goodness of the Lord. There is a thorn in the flesh but they meditate on the goodness of the Lord. There is hardship but they meditate on the goodness of the Lord. They are living for God. So they seek to please God. Matthew 3.17 I am rushing because of our time. But the Lord will bless us. Hallelujah. So they seek to please God. And a voice from heaven said, This is my son whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Natazama sauti kutoka mbingu ni kasema. Huyu ni mwanangu mpendo wangu ninaye pendezo nae. Hallelujah. Amen. At the Jordan River. Pale mto Jordan. John the Baptist. Yohana Baptizaji has baptized Jesus Christ. Amen. Baptize Yesu Christ. He comes out from the waters. Na natoka kwenye maji. Then the heavens open up. Bingu inafunguka. And the voice thunders. Na sauti inakuzuru. He speaks and declares. Anatangaza na kusema. He says this one. Anasema huyu. This one is my son. Huyu ni mwanangu. I love him. Mwanangu mpendwa. And every way of him. Na kila njia yake. Everything in him. Kila kitu ndani yake. Everything that he does. Kila kitu afanyacho. Pleases me. Unipendeza. This is my son. Huyu ndio mwanangu. He does not live for him. Himself. He has laid down everything. He has no appetite of himself. He has no interest of himself. The life that is in him is not his own. He lives for me. I am well pleased. Jesus Christ never lived for himself. He had no desires of himself. He was always looking unto the Father. Each and every day, he goes. At the secret place. He asks the father. Father I'm here. What is the program for the day? And, and the Lord says. You said in Galilee. At what time? In the afternoon. He says. Father, count it happening. In the afternoon is found. In Galilee. Galilee. In a large crusade. And in many sicknesses are being healed. People are being raised. Captives are being set free. Why? Because he went and asked the Father for the program and the agenda of the day. He has no agenda of himself. His program is with the Lord. His timetable is with the Lord. 
So each and every day he goes to the father. He, he says, says father, father, I'm here. Baba. Give me your, your line up today. Nipe and the father, father sends him. Na baba na and he goes for that. Na, na ende ya ilo. He has no interest of himself. In fact, he says, the son of man has even nowhere to lay his hand. He doesn't care about that. What matters is the will of the father. He said, the father has sent me. That I may bring light. That I may bring salvation. That is my food. That is what excites me. The will of the father. The interest of the father. The heart of the father. The smile of the father. That is what interests me. Not, not ordinary food. He said, is bread here. He says, you people you don't know, the kind of bread that I feed on, the kind of bread that I feed on, is the will of the Father. That is what keeps me going. That is what spares my life on this face of the earth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So he is addicted to the Father. And he's connected to the Father. Nothing can make him waver. Nothing can make him veer off the way. Jesus Christ is an example for us. We have to focus on the Father. What matters is the Father. The plans of the Father. The mind that is on the Father. Those are the men of the narrow way. The narrow way, you have to shelve your interests. On the narrow way, your appetites might be shelved. Your desires might be shelved. And what you focus on is the Lord Adonai. What is he saying? What is on his mind? What is he planning? You look at the face of the father. Is he gloomy? Is he saddened? Is he smiling? If he is smiling, you will smile also. But when the father is saddened, that one who should bring you stress, you are supposed to begin to ask yourself, what is wrong with me? What is wrong with the church? What is wrong with the nations? What is wrong with believers? Why is the father sad? Something is not right. You go back to the drawing board and ask yourself, am I still on the narrow way? Because the father is sad. It means something is not working out. As you vet yourself, you examine yourself through the word of God. The Holy Spirit is there. You ask him, am I together with you? Are you together with me? I see the father is sad. And he will tell you, now that corner, you have to get another corner. Opposite from that, you have to mend this way. I saw your thoughts they were not right that is where the problem is the father has searched your thoughts he has found out that they are full of darkness he has found out that they are not right that is the reason for the sadness and you fall on your, on, on your knees and you say father mercy my thoughts have been unclean I've been a man with unclean lips I've lived with people with unclean lips I have been defiled father mercy and then the Lord's face begins to glimpse again and the smiles come back again the narrow way the narrow way they seek to please the father number two they live a selfless life the men of the narrow way they are living a selfless life first kings 19 first kings 19 from 19 to 21 let's go so Elijah went from, the, from there and found Elisha, son of Shaphat. He was plowing with the twelfth yoke of oxen. And he himself was driving the twelfth pair. Elijah went up to him and threw his cloak around him. Elisha then left his oxen and, and ran after Elijah. Let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, he said. And then I will come with you. Go back, Elijah replied. What have I done to you? So Elisha left him and went back. He took his yoke of oxen and slaughtered them. He burned the plowing equipment to cook the meat and gave it to the people. And they ate. Then he set out to follow Elijah and became his attendant. Na yeye mwenyewe alikuwa pamoja na lile la 12. Elia akapita karibu naye akatupa vazi lake juu yake. Naye akawaacha ngombe akamfuata Elia mbio. Akasema, "Nipe ruhusa na kuomba. Nimbusu baba yangu na mama yangu. Kisha mimi nitakufuata." Akamwambia, "Nenda urudi. Ni nini niliyokutendea?" Akarudi akiacha kumfuata. 
akatoa lile jozi na ngombe akawachinja akatokosa nyama zao kwa ile miti ya ngombe akawapa watu wakala kisha akain, uh, akainuka akamfuata Elia akamhudumia haleluya you see that man unaona huyo mtu very selfless ha, hakuwa na ubinafsi when elijah wakati elia threw his cloak on, El, on elisha alipotupa vazi lake juu elisha everything about elisha died kila kitu kuhusiana elisha kilikufa everything about the physical elisha died kila kitu kuhusiana na mtu wa kiasili wa elisha could not see any other thing angeona lolote all lingine lolo that he saw now is the man of god yale aliona ni mtumishi wa mungu all that he saw now was the will of Hila the father yale ni mapenzi ya baba and he went ahead na he destroyed his tools of trade akaribu vyombo vyake he said now i have received the way sasa nimepokea i have chosen now the way of the Lord. nimechagua njia bwana this is a man of the narrow way huyu ni mtu wa njia nyambaba he went ahead and and, and slaughtered the animals alienda na akachinja he slaughtered the oxen akachinja and he burned the yok aka aka he boiled the meat akachemsha nyama and he gave the people na akapatia and he said now from today na akasema kwa jina my father my mother my brothers my sisters baba yangu mama yangu na dada my relatives my people e, e, jirani na wako i found a new way leo nimepata njia it is called the narrow way inaitwa njia nyambaba and because elijah na kwa sababu ya symbolic of jesus alikuwa kama Yesu Elijah Elia. symbolic of Jesus ishara ya Yesu for Elisha kwa Elia kwa ajili ya Yesu haleluya that Elijah was symbolic of Jesus Christ kwamba Elia alikuwa ishara ya Yesu kwa Elisha for Elisha kwa Elisha so wherever Elijah could go kwa hivyo wakati wote mahali popote Elisha is just following Elisha alikuwa wherever Elijah could go kwa Elia alienda he is following Aliyo and at the time Elijah would say na wakati mwingine you come back wewe go to your people we rudi ru- ru- kwa watu he says As the Lord lives anasema kama vile bwana anabosi si itakuwa I will go with you nitaenda na wewe you climb the mountains I will be with you you come down I will be with you you fight enemies we will fight together I am here to serve you I will serve this narrow road I have lost everything that one does not matter I have I am looking at the end at the end there is a double portion I see you are a man of fire you speak fire unanena moto you walk by fire you are name is fire jina lako ni moto now I will not turn back. Sasa sitaka. I also need this fire. Nitatumia. I look at the end. Nita. I see a double portion. Na ninaona mara hii. This fire. Ya humo. Then if I will not leave you. Hivyo sitakuwa. I will walk together with you. Sitata bena wewe. Yes, the road is narrow. Ni kweli njia ni narrow. The road is tough. Njia ni ngumu. But what matters? Lakini kinachoja ni double portion of the fire. Ni maradufu ya moto. This is what will make me cling on you. Hili ndilo tafanya ni katali. I need that double portion. Ninahitaji hiyo maradufu. The mantle is already on me. Eh kina raki juu yangu tayari. But it is not double. Lakini sio tu. I want that double. I want double. Whatever comes. Whatever will face. People are laughing at me. They say I've departed from my parents. They say I've left home. I am following a strange man. But I know what I'm doing. Mine is the double portion. When I get the double portion. It is now them that will pursue me. When I get the double portion. They will be following me. Let me follow Elijah. But they will begin to follow me when Elijah is gone the fire that will be on me they will have no option they will be following they will be following me and I will lead them I will give them the way they are laughing at me they are persecuting me but wait until the double portion comes on me I will follow this narrow road because I want to be an advantage I want to be a prophet to the will of God when I receive the double portion That double portion will not be for me. It will be for my people. It will be for my nation. It will be for the Lord. It will benefit the will of God. It will benefit the plans of God. After all, I've lost everything. I have nothing else to lose. What I want is the future. What I'm seeing is the end of this way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A selfless man. The man of the narrow way. Number three. Tatu as I near to finish Inapo, I'm just about to finish Niko karibu kumaliza There was a man called Apostle Paul Kuna mtu aitwa Mtume Paul Katika matunda matenda mitume 21 Chapter 10 verse 10 eh Acts 21 10 Matenda mitume 21 to around 14 Nafika mstari wa 14 pale Let's read Tusome After we had been there a number of days a prophet named Agabus came down from Judea Coming over to us he took Paul's belt tied his own hands and feet with it and said the holy spirit says in this way the jews of jerusalem will bind the owner of this belt and will hand him over to the gentiles when we heard this we and the people there 
pleaded with Paul not to go to Jerusalem. <laughs> then Paul answered, why are you weeping and breaking my heart? I am ready not only to be bound, but also to die in Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Verse 14. When he would not be dissuaded, we gave up and said, the Lord's will be done. Mtu huyu alikuwa na binti wa eh eh hey, samahani msari 10 basi tulipokuwa tukikaa huko siku nyingi nabii mmoja jina lake Agabo akashuka kutoka Yahudi alipotufikia akautoa mshipi wa Paulo akajifunga miguu na mikono akasema Roho Mtakatifu asema hivi hivi ndivyo Wayahudi wa Yerusalemu watakavyomfunga mtu mwenye mshipi huu nao watamtia katika mikono ya watu wa mataifa basi tuliposikia haya sisi wa, na watu wa mahali pale tukamsii asipande kwenda Yerusalemu ndipo Paulo alipojibu mnafanya nini kulia na kunivunja moyo kwa maana mimi licha ya kufungwa ni tayari hata kuuawa katika Yerusalemu kwa ajili ya jina la Bwana Yesu alipokataa shauri letu tukanyamaza tukisema mapenzi ya Bwana na yatendeke haleluya amen He focuses at the will of the Father. Yeye yeah, alilenga mapenzi ya baba. This man, huyo mtu, is going to be arrested and bound. Anaenda kufungwa and handed over na to the Gentiles kwa wayunani, for judgment. Kwa ajili ya hukumu. And the prophet has spoken it. Na nabii amenena. And he has said, na this man will be bound. Huyo mtu atafungwa. This man will be handed over. Huyo mtu atapeanwa. And the and the, the, the people there, na watu the followers of wa, the way, they pleaded with Paul. They said you have been a man of encouragement waka, to us. Umekuwa mtu wa ibada. You have kwa built churches. Umetumejenga makanisa. People have been saying, the church is growing. We don't want to miss you. We don't want to lose you. Please do not go to Jerusalem. And they began to cry. And they were weeping. And they said, Paul, you cannot leave us. No, you have to stay with us. We still need you for more years. And Paul was discouraged. And he said, why are you weeping? You are breaking my heart. I see the end. I am a man of the narrow way. I don't care about anything. My love is not my own i do not live mimi sish the one that lives in me i share that is jesus christ yes i do not fear death i do not fear to be bound i do not fear to be killed this will not be the first attempt remember was stoned to death and then rose up again the father breathed in me and i woke up remember the last time you are the people that rescued me through a basket i am not a fearful man i am courageous because the spirit of the lord has filled me now please do not hinder me from flying the narrow way because this is the will of the father and they looked at paul and they said now this man has made up his mind there is nothing we can do and they said now preacher let the will of the lord be done so for paul to be bound and to be handed over to the gentiles it was the will of the lord because when he's bound and put in prison then from there he will become a great asset to the church he will become a great asset to the body of Christ he will find time to meditate to receive from the Lord to download from the Lord and to give to the church he was downloading manna and giving to the church downloading manna and giving to the church we are still feeding on the same we are still building on the same we are being edified on the same on the work of Paul That was the will of the father. He doesn't care he says. I do not care whether they will bound me. And he, leave alone being bound. Let them kill me in Jerusalem. It doesn't matter. For me to live is Christ. For me to die is benefit is gain. Because I've seen the end of the narrow way. I have seen life and destiny. I have seen a great crown at the end. I have seen a great presentation at the end. I have seen a god of honor for me. Something great has been prepared for me. You cannot see what I'm seeing. You cannot understand what I am seeing. Leave me alone I have to go. I know what I'm about to receive. Stand it at this time. Leave me alone let me live the will of the Father. Let people talk. Let people say. Let people abuse me. Let people persecute me. The will of God is supreme. I don't care what people will say. Because when you 
go, go silent they will still speak and when you speak they will still speak when you sit down they will say he has sat down when you rise up they say now he has risen up when you add weight they say you see he is adding weight there is no prayer and fasting in the law that man. when you get lean they say this man what has happened to this man? Oh, okay. Why is he getting lean? <laughs> when, when the business expands, he said this man <laughs> must have visited a shrine. <laughs> when it collapses, <laughs> they say you see, <laughs> the Lord has visited. <laughs> the Lord has judged. <laughs> when he is sick, <laughs> they say he has missed the way. <laughs> when you recover, <laughs> they say we know where he went. <laughs> we know the powers that he has <laughs> So men will always speak. <laughs> what matters is the mind of God. <laughs> what matters is the will of the father focus on god do not be do not divert do not listen to the mouth of men do not listen to the voice of men men will break your heart god will mend your heart men will break your heart but god is there to heal your heart men will discourage you but god will be there to tap your shoulder and he will say it is well you have overcome you will overcome my son overcome you will overcome Men will cast his passions at you. But the Lord will come. And he will rescue you from the sin. Men will will even dig ditches for you. They will say. This one he will not escape. This one she must not escape. This one she must fall. And they will utter words. They will make enchantments. And incarnations. And they will say this one he will not survive. This one they will not survive. That ministry will not survive. That family will not survive. But the Lord looks and laughs. The Lord looks and laughs. He says, Why are they raging? I will destroy them. By the blast of my nostril, I will bring them down. I will paralyze and scatter them. They have come in one way to finish my servant. They have come in one way to fight my church. They have come in one way to fight my people. I will scatter them by terror and fire. Leave them away. The Lord will fight for you. The Lord will be there for you. Finally, in the book of Luke, chapter 2, and verse 36, the men of the narrow way, they are totally sold out for the Lord. And they are sold out to the Lord. The Bible says there was a prophetess called Anna. It was the daughter of Phanuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage. And then was a widow. Until she was 84, she never left the temple, but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying. Give us the next verse. Fasting and praying. Coming up to them at that very moment, she gave thanks to God and spoke about the child to all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. Alikuwa na nabii mke jina lake Ana binti fa, binti Fanweli na wakabila ya Asheri wa umri wake ulikuwa na umri wake ulikuwa miaka mingi alikuwa amekaa na mume miaka saba baada ya uana wawili wake naye ni mjane wa miaka themanini na minne haondoki katika hekalu ila huabudu usiku na mchana kwa kufunga na kuomba huyu alitokea saa ile akamshuk Huyu alitokea saa ile ile akamshukuru Mungu na wote waliokuwa wakiutarajia ukombozi katika Yerusalemu akawatolea habari zake. This woman Anna. Huyu mwanamke Anna, a prophetess. Um, uh, Nabi. She was married. Alikuwa ameolek and after 7 years. Na baada ya miaka 7. She lost her husband. Akapoteza mumewe. And the Bible says. She say, gave herself to the Lord. Akajipeana kwa Bwana. She lived in the temple. Aliishi katika hekalu. Until she was 84 years. Hadi alikuwa na miaka. What was she doing? Na alikuwa anafanya nini? Praying and fasting. Akiomba na kufunga. Day and night. Usiku na mchana. Until she was 84 years. Hadi akafikisha She was waiting for the redemption of Jerusalem. Alikuwa anangojea ukombozi wa Yerusalemu. So we learn something here. Kwa hiyo tutajifundisha kitu hapa. That this woman. Kwamba huyu mwanamke is given out 
to the will of the Lord. She's praying and fasting. Not for another husband. Not for children. Not for life. Not for direction. But for the son of promise. The redeemer of Jerusalem and Israel. For all those years. Fasting and praying. That the Lord may redeem Jerusalem. That the Lord may redeem Israel. And the Lord kept her. Until he, she saw the redemption of Israel. Until she saw the young Jesus Christ. And the Bible says when she saw the young Jesus. She gave thanks to the father. And she said. At long last. I have not worked for nothing. I have not lived the narrow way for nothing. I have seen the consolation of Jerusalem. I have seen the consolation of Israel. I have been fasting for all these years and praying. Totally given out to, to the church. Totally given out to the will of the Father. I separated myself from the people. From my kings, from my relatives. But now I have seen the redemption of all Jerusalem. Hallelujah. Amen. The men of the narrow way, they seek to please God. They live a selfless life. They are bold and courageous. And they are totally sold out to the Lord. And to his will. Let us stand on our feet. That we may pray. That we are making a choice. We have entered through the narrow gate. And we have chosen to ply the narrow way. The narrow way leads to life. We are casting down our everything. And all that we shall live for is for God. At such a time as this, all that we need is to focus to the Father. All that we need is to die to ourselves. And we have the spirit of the Father. It shall not be by might. It shall not be by power. But it shall be by the spirit of the Lord. As we give out ourselves to the spirit of the Lord, the Lord will help us to ply the narrow way. And he will lead us to destiny. Because he is ahead of us. And we are here following unto him. Let us just lift our hands unto the Lord. Just speak something to the Lord. Just speak something to the Lord. As I welcome our bishop. To take over from there. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Just lift up your hands and just worship God. Just declare your commitment to Him. Just declare that you are going to follow the narrow path. Just commit your heart to Him. Father, we honor you. We surrender to you, King of Glory. Lord, we give you our hearts this afternoon. We have heard your word, King of Glory. Lord, we may follow the narrow path which is the path to life, O oh God. Lord, we yield our spirit to you. We yield our body to you. We yield our minds to you. We yield our lives to you. The King of all glory, that you may have dominion, that you may have preeminence, my Father, not only during the day, but even in the night, my Father, we dedicate our lives to you. We offer our lives to you as a living sacrifice. The Lord you may consume us. In your holy fire, my Father. In your presence, King of glory. Father, we submit to you. We submit to you, Lord. We submit our thoughts to you. We subdue every thought. We subdue every imagination. In the mighty name of Jesus, we break every barrier. We remove every hindrance. My Father, we renounce every influence. Every demonic influence that diverts our attention, that misleads and misguides us, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. I'll pray for your people, my Father, that Jehovah God, Lord, that you will uplift them. You will hold them by your hand. Lord, that they may hear your voice. Open their inner spiritual ears. The Lord they may hear your voice declaring this is the way. Follow it. I pray my father for spiritual sight that we may be able to follow to see the path of God that you are leading your people. 
The path that leads us into eternal life. That is the desire of our hearts. That is the commitment of our hearts. That is the commitment of our mind. Lord, renew our minds. Renew our thoughts. Renew our spirits, O God. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for a willing spirit. We pray for a willing heart. For your word declares a contrite heart, a broken can one my father you will not despise may we be found to be of a broken heart and a contrite spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Father, we surrender to you, Lord. We pray even for those who don't know you, Lord, that you may draw them to you, my Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. For those who have lost their path, oh God, Lord, we are praying for restoration, my Father, of their direction to their narrow path, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We surrender and submit to you, King of Lord. Oh, we give you thanks, and we give you glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray Father for the sick. Those who have got pain in their body, I take authority against every spirit of infirmity. I break every yoke, every yoke of sickness, every yoke of disease. Lord, you heal them all who are oppressed of the devil. We declare healing upon them. We declare the bread for their children. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you. We give you praise. As we worship you, Lord, in our offering, in our substance, may you bless your people in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank you and we honor you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 Give the Lord a good hand. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to